Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Nicole and I'm so happy you clicked on this video. Why do I always do that? <laughs> um, this is, I guess, a quick, a quick chit chat slash update. Um, I've gotten this question a couple of times, so I just thought I'd address it. And before I get into this video, um, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and help this little family and community grow. Um, and also make sure you turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Lastly, um, this channel was made to share my life a little bit and inspire others. And obviously there's things that are going to come up in my videos that you guys may may or may not agree on, but I don't appreciate negativity on my channel. So I'm gonna address this once and for all. Like if you have negative comments, keep it to yourself, okay? Um, there is nothing wrong with constructive criticism. However, you don't know my life. Like y'all don't know my life um, like that. I share what I want to share with you guys. So um, yeah, I'd rather you ask me in a polite way or email me if you have a question to something instead of commenting on my videos and being negative about it, okay? So with that being said, let's get into the video. Yeah, so a lot of people have asked me <laughs> why I quit my job again. And um, so long story short, I quit my job because we moved. Okay. Um, we moved to a whole nother state, as you guys have seen. Um, in some previous videos and that's why I had to leave my job in Houston um, So yeah, my husband is a mechanical engineer and um, As I guess the nature of his job and the sector that he was focusing on um, there were not too many opportunities for him in Houston and he didn't want to get into oil and gas. So, um, he got offered a job out here with a really good company and it was a really good job offer that we couldn't turn down. And, and as a wife or as a partner, you need to be supportive of your spouse or of your partner. Um, <clears throat> yeah so you need to be supportive of your spouse and your partner so um that's the ultimate reason why i moved and um so yeah he's he's been working out here since august and i recently just moved out here so we we talked about everything um when the job offer came up months ago and the and we always contemplated the options that if he wouldn't get a job in Houston we would end up moving because it wouldn't be fair for me to have a career and for him to not have a career and settle for something that he didn't go to school for um, especially when you pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get a degree you want to work in your uh, in your field so um yeah, that's, I guess, long story short. If y'all want to hear more details, keep listening. Yeah, so he went out to this career fair. I think it was in Detroit or something like that. And that's when he met this company and there were talks, but nothing. And then they actually were having a meet and greet in Austin. Yeah, they had like a meet and greet in Austin, Texas. And my husband actually went out there because he got the email from them to go out and he ended up getting the job offer. Um, so this was like March, April. So we knew the move was coming for a while. And um, obviously once it happened, we were contemplating different options of what we were gonna do. Um, 
it took a little bit to get the ball going and we weren't sure that the move was going to happen because at first we didn't know where they were going to place him we didn't know if he was going to work in austin if he was going to work in houston or if he was going to work out of state so ultimately then it took a while for everything to go through and he came out here and started working and before he moved we did like we talked about doing a long distance marriage for a while until i figure things out on my end because i didn't want to leave my job i had a really good job i didn't want to leave my job obviously and um the plan was for me to stay out in houston um through early next year and then move out here and i asked my employers if i could work from home um, and then just fly out to the audits when needed. However, that wasn't an option. They wanted somebody that would be present um, and local. Uh, and so, yeah, if, and I even applied to like opportunities from my previous company in the Chicago area, um, cause it's not too, too far from here. However, they were just, they were more accounting based roles and I would love auditing. So I wanted to stick to, uh, I wanted to stick to audit. Um, however, yeah, I wanted to stick to audit, but that just wasn't going to work out. And, um, they, my previous employers understood my situation and they were like, they encouraged me to, to come out here you know like they also encouraged me obviously it was it, it was hard having to lose me and having to leave however your family comes first and like i said my marriage and i make that a point my marriage comes before anything you know um so yeah uh like marriage and family comes before work for me okay i love auditing i love the account like that side of accounting and business and that's obviously what i went to school for so um it's not about like where i make the most money or anything like that so like family comes first and with an accounting degree i'll always get a job anywhere with the accounting degree and the experience that i have i'm never going to be denied of a job um not trying to even sound cocky or anything but i'm just not like there's so many opportunities in the accounting worldwide. So wherever God takes us, I know that I'm always going to be covered in terms of getting um, a job. And with that being said, so I got, I did get a job opportunity out here, which I'm so thankful for. And um, I did let them know like during my interview process, I let them know everything. I put everything out on the table, what was going on with us. Um, why i had to move because that question came up why i had to move and they were perfectly fine with it and i and also the company that the firm that i am going to work for they are worldwide they are nationwide and i did let them know that hey like this move to wisconsin isn't permanent it's not a, it's not a permanent move because um my husband is here on a rotational training program and then once his rotational is done then he can basically decide where he wants to go i let them know that this wasn't a permanent move and they were okay with it and i picked like it, it was a good fit on both sides because they were fine with the idea of when it is time for me to move i can move and i can take my job with me you know so that was one of the deciding factors that led me to this firm is that I will always, like, I will have my job. Um, if I would have stayed at EY, obviously this move would have been easier because I would have stayed working for EY. However, I wasn't, <laughs> like, EY just didn't work out, you know? Um, but this firm, it was a really good opportunity. Um, it's gonna be an amazing, um, an amazing journey i guess and it's it's another like it's a step up in my career actually so i am super grateful um for this opportunity anyway and just moving out here and starting so yeah that's 
the story behind as to why I moved and just an encouragement for you guys like those of you guys who are in marriages or in relationships like if you truly value your partner you'll figure out how to make it work okay um like my husband never said like I had to move out here we were willing to do a long distance marriage however however I was going through like some health issues and I just didn't want to be away from him like in Houston, we didn't even have family. We had friends, yeah, but we had no family, like no mom and dad, no brother, sister, cousin, auntie, anything like that. So there wasn't really anything holding me back from leaving, except for that I really enjoyed my job. Uh, so yeah, my husband was super supportive and he was like, we'll figure out a way to work it out until you're able to move or see if they are able to let you work from home eventually, however. It just wasn't gonna work out you know so if you have to move move you have to do what you have to do that's best for you and best for your family something that my senior told me when when I was kind of sharing with her and having my doubts about moving she was like look to be honest you're replaceable like <laughs> you could get fired they could let you go for one reason or another and you could be replaced like this and I thought about it and I was like that is true so she, and she was she was like look you can be replaced easily, so you might as well do what's best for you and what's best for your family because saving a relationship is much harder than saving a job, which is so true. So just an encouragement for y'all, like if you're in a marriage, if you're in a situation like mine, like do what you have to do that's best for both of you guys. Obviously communicate and pray about it. And ultimately God led us here. I think, especially for me, I just needed to be away from so many things. I need to just, I needed a fresh start and just needed just some alone time. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos to come. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know and I will see you guys in my next video.